Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hi Aria, so you guys, for today's video, as you can see, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so guys, for today's video, I have a massive makeup and skincare haul. The past week or so, I have went crazy. I'm still waiting on some of the packages coming, but I thought I would just kind of like split them up, if that makes sense. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup and skincare haul from Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty. So guys, it's going to be a long one. I'm going to speed through it as quick as I can. <laughs> um, but do grab yourselves a wee snack, we drink, cup of tea, coffee, whatever, and we're just going to get into it. So this is my Cult Beauty package, and then... Beauty Bay. Um, I think we'll actually do Cult Beauty first, actually. So I actually haven't even really opened much of these products, by the way. So I've actually been keeping like most of them to open up with you guys. I got this wee blush and it's from Vive Beauty. So if you don't know, this is Jimmy Genevieve's makeup brand. And this is their Sunset Blush. And I got the shade Pseca? 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 And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I definitely have to say it is very her. So that's the colour of it there. So it's just got a really nice like terracotta orange toned blush. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'll hopefully get around to trying that with you very soon. And then I have a couple of products here from the brand Caudalie. So I actually wanted to stock up on my Caudalie Beauty Elixir because it's my absolute favourite. And then I actually seen that they had a wee offer on where it was if you spent so much on the brand Caudalie, you ended up getting like a free wee pouch of other wee skincare products. So I also picked up the Caudalie Vinyl Source Cream Sorbet Hydronate and this is just like a, a moisturiser. I've actually used this before and it's actually really, really nice. Yeah, so, okay, I was actually... <laughs> I was reading the different language. I'm not French. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a moisturising sorbet. Sorbet, sorbet, depending on how fancy you are. So basically it just quenches and soothes moisturising organic grape water, smoothing chamomile and antioxidant polyphenol. Yeah, it's actually a really, really nice moisturiser. I have tried it before and it's really nice for daytime wear because it is really, really nice and light on the skin because as I say, it has kind of like that sorbet whipped kind of texture to it or feel and it is really, really nice. And then next up, I got this toning solution. It's from the brand The Ordinary and it's their glycolic, glyc glycolic, Acid 7% Toning Solution. Um, I'll just open it up here for you so you can see. Okay. But this is really, really affordable, by the way. I think it's only like six or seven pounds for this massive 240ml of toner. <laughs> so I'm actually really looking forward to trying this. I'm definitely going to do a wee bit of research on this before I actually try it on my skin to see if it's okay for my skin and how often I use it, etc. Obviously because of the name, I'm guessing you do use it in the PM. Is it pronounced Welida? I think it is. This is their skin food. I got the light one. It's just a intensive instant moisturising skincare product. I have actually been seeing quite a lot of people on Instagram using this. So yeah, I've been meaning to actually pick this up for quite a long time. There's this one and it's the light one and then they just have the normal one. I thought I would try the light one first of all because I do have dry skin. Well, dry to normal. Mainly normal to be honest because I don't have overly dry skin. But I don't like wearing anything that's going to be too thick, like too thick of a moisturiser before I go on and apply my foundation. So basically the way I've been seeing people using this is basically as like a skin prep before applying foundation, basically like a primer. So I'm really excited to try that. I got this wee mini product and it's from Dr. Jart and it's their Tiger Grass Sleep Pair Intensive Mask. Let me see what it's like. Ooh. Oh yeah. That looks nice. Oh, it has no scent to it. I was kind of looking at it thinking that it was going to smell like cucumbers or something. <laughs> okay, so it just says here, apply an appropriate amount as the last step of the bedtime skincare routine and rinse off in the morning. So that might actually be quite nice, you know. It's actually made my skin on my hand look really, really nice. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so next up we have this from Pi. I'm guessing it is pronounced Pi, right? And it is their Rose Hip Bioregenerate Oil. I've actually tried this before and it was, it was amazing. I loved it so, so much. I can't even really remember like why I loved it and why I fell in love with it. So I'm really looking forward to actually getting back into using this again. But as far as I can remember, this made my skin just look and feel so plump and hydrated and just absolutely amazing and just really nice and youthful looking. So it just says here that it helps with brightening the skin, it evens skin tone and it is also nourishing for the skin. I got this wee gift set, you know, to you from you, you the best. This is by the brand Fresh and I've actually never tried any of their skincare before so I kind of thought what a better way to do it than in a gift set. <laughs> Within these wee skincare gift sets, nine out of 10 times you will get a full size product and then the other products are gonna be like wee minis, but they're still good sized products. The Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. We have the Soy Face Cleanser. And then I also have the Rose Face Mask. So I'll take everything out and kind of show you all about it, you know. So I'll show you the wee face mask first. So obviously this is the wee mini one and it's actually infused with the real rose petals and it soothes and tones the skin. I actually have opened this by the way, so because I was honestly so excited for it, but I nearly died. Look at this mask. It looks disgusting. <laughs> like it looks literally disgusting. It smells lush, it smells absolutely fab, but that's it. <laughs> I've been having my eyes on there for such a long time at this point and I thought that this was honestly such a good wee deal to get this wee box because this is 50 ml. It's, it's an extra gentle gel cleanser that instantly whisks away everyday impurities and makeup even mascara without stripping the skin of its essential moisture. So this is 100ml, this is their wee toner, the Deep Hydration Facial Toner, and it also is infused with rose fruit extract, removes impurities and softens the skin. Oh, I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm gonna feel so bougie after using this. Lastly from Colour Pop, what? <laughs> We have some products from Glow Recipe, so uh, I'll show you this one first actually. So, <sighs> how amazing is this? So, this I've been wanting this for such a long time. I've been wanting to try these, and I've been wanting this. So, this is a full size wee small size and a wee small size like that's what I was saying there like nine out of ten times whenever you get these wee gift sets depending on what brand it is you're more than likely going to get at least one product is full size but this is absolutely amazing um like value wise that's what I mean this product here is the watermelon glow pha and bha pore brightening toner it hydrates and pore refines. And then this wee product here is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. And let me see, provides ultimate glow and brightening to the skin. So it's basically just like a highlighting serum. And then this wee product here is just one of their moisturizers. It's the Watermelon Glow Pink Just Moisturizer. Love that. Oh, I'm so looking forward to trying this. This even looks scrumptious. I love anything that's watermelon as well. Oh. I actually ended up picking up the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. It's just like a wee mini cleanser version of the big one. What? <laughs> I just picked this up because I think I might actually take this to Kyle's house and just leave it at his. Again, packaging, super cute. Definitely looking forward to trying that. But yeah, that was absolutely everything I got of Cult Beauty and now getting into Beauty Bay. There's actually more products in Beauty Bay, by the way. So please, if you've made it this far, you well done, well done. <laughs> so first off, this is actually a wee repurchase and this is the Ultra Sun Extreme, very high protection, very high sun protection actually. Um, this is an SPF of 50 and this is actually the sunscreen that I use underneath my makeup. And even on days where I'm not wearing makeup, I absolutely love this wee sunscreen for my face especially. I find difficult <laughs> to actually find a really good sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast doesn't make you look extremely oily or greasy and this is absolutely perfect this is the smaller size by the way which I find has less 
which I have found, sorry, that has lasted me at least two, three months at this point and I'm still not even done the other one but I just thought I'd pick it up while I was doing this big order because it's only four pounds. It's honestly, it's so good. If you did see my empties video, you would have heard me talking about this wee face mask here and this is the brand Formula 10.0.6. I know, Jesus Christ, who came up with that brand? I want to have a word. Um, but basically, this is the Total Take Away Skin Purifying Bubble Mask. I'm not going to speak too much about it because I went into a wee bit of depth in my empties video about it. But I will actually use this in a vlog very, very soon to actually again show you more about it because it's honestly one of the... It's definitely one of my favourite face masks of all time. Because the brand is really affordable by the way, I also picked up this one and this is the Get Your Glow On Brightening Peel Off Mask with Papaya and Citrus. I'm actually really looking forward to trying this actually. So it just says here, this radiance boosting peel revitalises tired skin in minutes. Smooth on, sit tight, then peel off to remove dead skin cells, unclog pores and banish breakouts. Parp Powerful papaya helps to resurface skin while citrus boosts brightness so you can flaunt a mesmerizingly clear, smooth, radiant complexion. I literally just sat and read you that whole thing. Great. Ooh, and then, and then I'm so excited for this product. I don't even know why I bought this because I do not need this. But you know the way TikTok does this thing to you? Like, the shower gel I'm using at the minute, I bought because of TikTok. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt. So basically it's a tiger grass colour correcting treatment. It's basically a colour correcting cream that cares for sensitive skin and helps to reduce redness. So it just literally soothes the look of red and irritated skin. I'm actually going to try and test this out with you in a upcoming makeup trial. Just to kind of see what it's like. Did my nose thing go on that? Oh no it didn't. So that's what it looks like there. Doesn't look too interesting does it? But obviously we'll put it to the test and, and we'll see. Like that's the thing as well. Like I don't necessarily suffer from like a lot of redness in my face or anything. <laughs> but you know the way you just buy these things because they're hyped about and whatever. But I have actually seen quite a lot of people actually using this. And it makes their skin look amazing. Like just completely perfect it. And just overall colour correct it. So I got this Revolution Brush Cleaner and Cleaning Mat. I absolutely love these wee solid brush cleaners by the way. And it's been such a long time since I've actually like bought one. I used to use this wee one from Makeup Revolution all the time. This wee one here. I bought more palettes. Did I need to buy more palettes? No. So I got the Beauty Bay. Oh these are actually both from Beauty Bay. I'm only noticing that now. <laughs> so I got this Beauty Bay new romantic palette. This came out quite a wee while ago. Was it maybe around Valentine's Day or something? So that's the packaging of it. And that's what that looks like. It is definitely a very, very beautiful palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like same with the other two Beauty Bay palettes that they had. And they're honestly so, so good. Like the quality of them and the pigmentation of them is absolutely amazing. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this wee palette. And then again, another palette that whenever I seen had launched, I was like, meh. I have no interest, no interest whatsoever in getting this palette. And here we are. <laughs> so this is the Beauty Bay Fire Eye 2.0 42 color palette. See on the website, on their Instagram page, they did not do this palette justice. This palette is absolutely stunning. It has a mixture of mattes and shimmers and that's what I love about it. The shimmer shades in this palette are scrumptious looking. They are absolutely beautiful and I love the pops of yellow along here. So I'm gonna try and give you a wee bit of a close up of it. It's absolutely beautiful and this shade here. It is absolutely beautiful and this shade, can you even see? <laughs> But no. Like, of course, looking at this palette, is it anything new? Is it anything spectacular? Have we seen it before? Yes, of course we have. But it's just, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. How many times do I honestly show you guys palettes and I'm like, it's so pretty. And then I'll use it once. <laughs> um, but like, even like these neutral shades up here. 
I actually ended up picking up the Ordinary Full Coverage Concealer. I was actually really shocked whenever I received this in the post because I was like, I was honestly expecting it to be so much bigger than this. <laughs> but I suppose of course it is a concealer so I'm guessing a little goes a long way. You don't need much of it and also it does claim to be a full coverage so sounds like my kind of thing. And then I got a wee matte lipstick here which is also from Beauty Bay's own brand. So it's in the shade Juice. So this is the wee packaging here, the wee component. Oh Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. I'm gonna give it a wee swatch for you. <gasps> Damn. Oh, that feels really creamy. Oh, love that. Love that! <laughs> Then I picked up this sweet product from MEA. I'm thinking this is new because I've never actually seen this before. And this is their Pro Base Foundation Stick. So I ended up getting the shade 180, which is obviously not my foundation shade, but I kind of had visions of using this as a, a contour stick. <laughs> It's like a bald man's head. Um, so yeah, just took a wee quickie contour stick. Love that. And then I got my very first Ofra highlighter. <laughs> so yeah, I've never actually tried Ofra highlighters before, so I thought I would treat myself. What's not a better time to do that than the fact that Steph Toms has actually came out with her own highlighter with Ofra Cosmetics, which is absolutely amazing. This is what the highlighter looks like. I'm so excited to try this. Will I give it away swatch for you? So as you can see, we have two different shades here. These are going to be absolutely perfect. I would say, oh, just realizing that I actually forgot to tell you what it's called. So it's actually called Milk and Cookies. So I'm actually going to swipe my finger like right down the center just to have a wee bit of a nosy. I'm so bad whenever it comes to swatching things, by the way. That's why I never do them. <laughs> um, ho! Oh. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try the light one just on its own. <sighs> oh, I don't even know if you'd be able to see that. So there's literally no glitteriness to them at all, but it's just the most beautiful sheen to the skin. Oh. Okay guys, we can do this last couple of products. <laughs> so I have here from Kimchi. This is the Kimchi Chick Set and Beck Puff Puff Pass Set and Powder. So I've actually bought quite a lot of products recently from Kimchi Beauty on Beauty Bay and just other retail places where you can actually get the products. So I'm actually wanting to do I'm not too sure what my schedule is looking like this week, but like video wise, so I think maybe next week I might actually get round to actually filming like a testing video of kimchi makeup so this was the last product i had to get so i basically have everything so so i'm actually really looking forward to that video like trying and testing everything out but oh my god look that is the most beautiful paper i have ever seen oh and by the way i got the shade banana because the translucent shade was out of stock i was pretty pissed about that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That is the most beautiful paper. And the wee donut has a wee bite out of it as well. Oh my god, I don't even want to open this. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of powder. That's a, that's a big boy, that. I honestly cannot get over this paper. It's so nice. Um, so as I was saying, this is in the shade Banana, which I was actually a wee bit concerned and worried about because I am usually... <gasps> We will come back to the powder puff because I'm usually always like translucent because because I'm usually always a translucent kind of gal because sometimes whenever you get a banana powder it will lean to yellow or it can be a wee bit too beigey looking or something it's just never right but this looks this looks decent this looks really really good so I actually have high hopes about that now we can talk about the powder puff as you know as you know, honestly it looks as if I have my granny's pants on my head. Um, I love, I love myself a good old powder puff and this feels amazing. The last six products are actually all from the same brand. And this is actually a brand I've never really seen before, only on Beauty Bay. So I'm guessing that it is new. 
or like new released or something I'm not too sure but all of their products are very very reasonably priced but it's the brand Suda so yeah Suda I've never heard of this brand before and it's on Beauty Bay and as I say it's actually really really affordable first product here I'm going to talk about is their shimmer bronzer <laughs> I was like a wee bit confused whenever I got this because I was like this is not a bronzer like what the fuck <laughs> But is that not hilarious? <laughs> I have eyeshadow pans bigger than this. <laughs> the colour actually looks really, really good. So I do actually have high hopes for the colour, but we'll obviously see how it looks and everything on the skin and what it's all like, whatever, but that's tiny. <laughs> oh, and that's another thing I noticed. In all of the products, you get a thing of stickers, which is quite a nice wee touch, I suppose. Like. A wee thing of stickers. We have this lip and cheek gel blush. The packaging is actually quite different. It's quite nice. Um, it's all very like pastel-y shades and very soda-like I suppose. And that's the packaging there of the cream blush. And this is how you can use this in the lips as well. Yeah. How yummy does that shade not look? Oh. Okay, so it's very, very sheer. Can you even say that? It's very... Oh, I don't want to say greasy. Oh, I'm not sure. We're going to definitely have to try and use that at some stage. If I do think if you're somebody that actually does wear just like cream products, this might actually look really, really nice. And of course, they did have numerous shades in this, which were also really, really pretty. And we also have some stickers in there. And then we have this Barbie Girl liquid liner. So this is actually a pink liner. That was actually really, really cute. Ooh. That's it there. I'm not too sure how it's coming off on camera, but in person it's definitely like hot, hot pink. Like definitely like hot Barbie pink. Oh, I love that. This is actually a face product. So this is their glowy skin finisher. So... Hmm, I'm not too sure about this product. Oh, how cute is that? How cute is that packaging? So yeah, I'm not too sure about this product. I don't actually think I would actually use this as a like a liquid highlight because I'm definitely not a big fan of liquid highlights. But this is kind of what this is. So I'm just going to put a wee bit of this in the back of my hand. And it's in a shade um, like a diamond, by the way. I think this was the lightest one. So if I just kind of give it just a wee blend i was actually maybe thinking of using this just on my skin before i went in with any foundation just like a wee illuminator or something that you could actually mix in with your foundation but i don't actually know if i would ever use this like on top of the skin on top of the skin on top of like foundation and stuff so the last three products here are lip products and these are these are the cutest things I've ever seen. These are honestly so, so cute. So the first one I have here is the Lip Crystal and it's in the shade Strawberry Magic. Basically like a bullet lipstick and it's just, just a wee lip balm with like glitters through it. It is honestly super cute. And it smells, it smells that good that you could eat it. I actually could have bought nearly every single one of the lip glosses because the shades were stunning absolutely stunning so the shade i ended up getting was a diamond sugar <laughs> wow i don't even know if you're actually going to be able to like see how beautiful this lip gloss is i wonder if i can actually show you on my phone how pretty this looks and i'll put it on the screen for you so you can definitely see now how gorgeous that is isn't it lovely absolutely beautiful but guys that's it from me thank you so 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 much for watching if honestly if you have made it from here i am proud well done <laughs> of course guys thank you so 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 much for watching i will list absolutely everything that i purchased here from cult beauty and beauty way down below in the description box along with my snapchat instagram and twitter so don't forget to go and follow me on all of those i hope you're all staying safe and well please be kind look after yourselves and each other and i shall see you in my next video